Okay. What are you gonna try and soul swap? Kalis and the Lynx. Fuck, man. Five lives. Huh. Really, I want to do that. Put that up. All right. So in this video, we're gonna go over all of the Lynx shoes, at least all the ones that I have. But there's a few different ones. One, two, H E, Slim, all sorts of shit. And I'm trying to go over that. Also, that. while you're going over this, you can just like elevate the mood a little bit. Hey guys. Jeez, man. Mr. Rogers here. <clears throat> Alright, so we got another video for you guys. In this video, we're gonna go over the links. There's a few different ones, and I have some of them, so I want to try and go over the differences. Uh, a lot of people already probably know all the Lynx models, but some don't, so we'll go through that in this video. But the first Lynx, I don't have the OG. I had it, but I don't anymore. I have this reissue. This is pretty much true to the T reissue. The only difference that I ever noticed in these was this is a little shorter, this is a little thicker, but this was it. This was the first Lynx. And this was, in my opinion, the best Lynx. Um, most iconic one. These were in every magazine ad and everything. Kayla's doing a tray flip over the bump. Like, it was sick. And these still are. And I hope these stay in the DC lineup forever. Because they could always sell these. I mean, fuck, they sell out all the time when they do their limited drops. But after this shoe, they did this one right here. D2, Lynx 2. It's a lot bulkier. Like, the tongue isn't really bulkier, but the whole shoe itself is. Taller panels and whatnot. And the sole is, like, hella thin. I hate it. Like, I don't like this shoe just because of that. Like, you have a big upper and then a slim sole. It's kind of dumb. Like, these, they got a thick sole. Almost too thick, but not. And it fits. The whole shoe looks good. But with these, I just never liked it. And I know a lot of people are going to talk shit because a lot of people do like the twos. But I don't. It's just not my taste and i think that was the consensus back then too because this one they did a shit ton of colorways in but then they finally stopped and they switched to what this is here the lynx he which as you can tell is a lot more reminiscent of the very first one size wise of everything the tongue's hella fucking wide it's a little too wide down here for me i like it to kind of taper but it's still sick and this one it's probably my favorite aesthetically, or aesthetics wise, I guess. I don't know. It looks sick. The way everything's like slanted, including the logo and shit, kind of makes it look like it's going fast, just sitting still. It's not going anywhere, it's a shoe. But it's fucking dope. The sole is slimmer on this one, but then, you know, everything else kind of fits it. So it's still sick. And I really would love to see this one come back. Uh, obviously, I don't care about the links too, but this one. I hope they bring this back. I've heard rumors, but everything's hearsay, you know. Everybody's always saying something's going on. So we'll see what does happen. But then, let's see, these are all a few years difference. This one was like 98 when they came out. This one, yeah, I wanna say it was 2000-ish somewhere. I can't remember the exact details. I probably should have Googled this before I started doing this video, but it's whatever. But they did do another version of the first Lynx. I forgot to mention that. Um, I don't have it, but it's the like the Brian Winning Lynx, how it has mesh paneling. That's all a separate one. It's not the first OG one. Those came out in 2000 and like one, I think. Uh, they weren't out in 98 because they stopped making these and then they started making those uh, about a year after they stopped making the Lynx. Uh, I like the material on those better because of the mesh paneling and stuff. It's a lot more breathable and whatnot and it's pretty tight. But, like I said, I don't have that on me. Yeah, these came out mid-2000s. I never had a pair. Always wanted a pair to skate these because they're pretty sick. They are just double stitching, though, around the toes, not the triple stitch like they normally use. But, I mean, they make shoe goose, so who gives a shit? And then we have these. These, a lot of you probably already know. These came out a couple years back when DC started to first kind of get into the whole reissue program. And I was really fucking hyped when I'd heard about these. I don't like them, but knowing that DC was gonna do this shoe right here just made me realize that they're probably gonna go more into the OG reissues, and they did. So they brought this out. A lot of people hated it, a lot of people loved it. 
the people that like skating slim shoes, this was the one for them because it's a Lynx. It's slimmed down completely. It's a one piece toe panel with like this little, I don't know, heat welded fucking material, whatever it is. This was good for people that wanted slim skate shoes. And it was good for people that were old heads and wanted to have the Lynx again, except for, you know, obviously it's slim. But just like I said, whenever I saw this, I wasn't, you know, excited to buy them because I mean, I don't know, this thing's tiny. I don't like it. But like I said, I knew as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh shit, DC is going to step into the reissue game. And they did a few years later with this, which this didn't happen. This wouldn't happen. This right here made people or made DC realize that people do want the links back. And thank you to this terrible little flimsy shoe for doing that. Because now we have these bad boys and a shit ton of colorways, more coming out. You've all seen the Howard one colorway links coming out looking like this right here which i'm pretty hyped on coming out on the 25th hopefully brandon puts this video up before then so we'll see brandon thursday what you thinking dude thursdays it's saturdays fam gonna be a new video let's try to do this one on thursday then because saturday won't really make sense all right so yeah gonna have the howard one links oh fuck part of my soul just fell off really? god damn it Hey, DC, reissue these so my sole will stop falling off. And I can have a wearable pair. That'd be pretty sick. But yeah, that's coming out the 25th. And I'm pretty fucking excited. Oh, let's put the sole back in there, bro. Brandon, how many uh, pairs of those links are you buying? Uh, 32. Okay, sweet. I'll take three. Uh, no, they're all for me, fam. You don't wear all Same of these shoes in here. Yes, I do. No, you don't, dude. Yes, I do. All right, put it on your feet right now. Whoa, what? Stop. Stop. Don't test me, bro. That's pretty much a wrap on the Lynx. There has been a few different models like these right here. They did do a ton of shot collabs, which were pretty sick. Some of them. Some of them I didn't really care for. I wish that they would do that with the first Lynx. I mean, there's a lot of good shops out there, especially all the ones that do carry these and sell them that could do some sick collaboration. I mean, imagine like a Humidity DC Links or a Grandeur DC Links or Home Base DC Links or anybody. I mean, there's a lot of good shops out there that would probably make a sick shop collab Links. That'd be dope. Hopefully somebody at DC watches this and hears this and decides that that's a good idea and then doesn't give me any credit for it, but still makes it happen. So I'll be happy. That'd be sick though. But yeah, that's it. Um, that's pretty much all I got on these links. If you guys want to see some of these come back, or if you want shop collabs in these, let us know in the comments. Because maybe DC will look at it and see it and see that people actually want this shit and then actually do it. But that's it, guys. That's a wrap. Peace.